Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker for My Favorite Things, and today I have a birthday card to share with you featuring the You Keep Me Afloat stamp set. I picked out one of the images from the stamp set, which has this cute little bunny that's fishing, and I stamped that with a Copic Friendly Black ink onto a piece of Bristol Smooth Paper, which is cut to be 9 by 4 now I wanted to mask off the bottom of this image, so I stamped it again on a piece of masking paper, and then I cut out the bottom of the boat so that I could mask that part off on the image and do some blending with my Distress Oxide inks. This is going to ensure that none of this Distress Oxide ink is going to get onto the image where I'm blending so that later I'll be able to peel that off and be able to color it with Copic markers. As you can see, I taped down my paper to a hard board and this just makes it a lot easier to be able to move it around as I'm blending and it also helps to prevent any warping that happens. I also added a few pieces of post-it tape along the center of the paper and that's just to create my horizon line because as you can see I'm blending a bunch of different blue colors to create the ocean or the lake or whatever the little bunny rabbit is fishing in. The colors that I used to create the ocean are tumbled glass, salty ocean, blueprint sketch, and chipped sapphire. I sprinkled some droplets of water over the blending with a paintbrush and then I soaked up the water with a paper towel and then after that I very gently went over the whole thing with the same colors so that those droplets are a little bit more subtle. And you can see when I removed all of the masking paper that I am left with a nice clean image to color in. For the sky, I'm just very, very lightly adding in some tumbled glass along the top. I don't want it to be too much, just a little hint of it. All right, so now I'm gonna start the coloring process. And like I said, I'm using Copic markers and I'm just coloring in the little bunny rabbit and his boat. And I'm not gonna lie, I struggled a little bit with the coloring on this. I couldn't exactly get the color right for the bunny. I, want, I had a vision in my head of the color that I wanted him to be, and it just wasn't working out. I eventually do get there, but as you can see, I go over it a few times after this, and that's because it just wasn't where I wanted it to be. But I did eventually get it there, so I encourage you, if you're struggling with your coloring, first of all, maybe testing it on another piece of paper would be a good idea but also just keep trying until you get the right combination of markers that works for what you want it to look like. When I was trying to pick out the colors for this, I did use Pinterest and I just searched for nautical color palettes and I came, it came up with a lot of blues and reds and neutrals. So that's the color palette that I went with. I do find Pinterest to be a wonderful resource for color palettes. I use it all the time. Now you can see when I colored with that really dark navy blue on the boat, some of it did bleed on the bottom, but that's okay. I'm going to be adding in some details later with colored pencils, and that's going to kind of mask that so it won't be as noticeable. That is a common problem I find with the darker Copic colors. I do think that they tend to bleed a lot more than the lighter colors. So that's something to watch out for and be wary of when you're doing your coloring. Right here, I tried to stamp over the image again where the fishing line is, but I didn't leave my stamp in the misty, so I had to try to place it in the right spot. And I kind of missed it just a little bit. So the fishing line when I stamped it again is a little bit off. So I just took my Copic liner and I filled in that little spot that was left in the middle there. And it's not perfect. My fishing line is a little bit thicker than it would have been, but it's not too bad. I don't think that there's any need to restart. And this is probably a good example of why you should leave your stamps in the misty until you're sure you're done with them so that you can restamp and get it in the right place. While I had that Copic liner out, I used a T-square ruler and I lined it up with the fishing line and I just added a straight line down so that it looks like that line is going into the water. And then I just freehand drew a little hook on the end. 
Now the video is getting a little bit ahead of me here. I'm not talking quite fast enough. While I was talking about the fishing line, you could see that I stamped a sentiment from the stamp set along the top, and I just used VersaFine Onyx Black ink for that. Then I picked out three of the little fish stamps from the set, and I placed them in the water, and I stamped those with the chipped Sapphire Distress Oxide ink. And I really like the look of those fish stamped with that dark blue ink. I think it looks a lot better than it would look if you stamped it with a black ink. It kind of makes them look like they are actually in the water. All right, so now I have my colored pencils out and the colored pencils that I like to use are the Prisma colored pencils. And I'm just adding even more details with these. And I think that this really is the chef's kiss on this card because it looked pretty good before, but it needed a little bit more depth and detail to it. And the colored pencils just do that so perfectly. The first thing that I did was add a shadow underneath the boat and the bunny, and this helps to really distinguish the area above the water, the surface, and the area that I'm showing that's underneath the water. Then I shaded in the fish and I added some shading to the bunny, which I think really gives him some nice texture. Then I used a white pencil and I added some bubbles under the water and I also added some ripples around the fishing line where it hits the surface of the water. And that's another thing that helps to really show where that surface is and distinguish the above water from the below water. I also used some white gel pen on those ripples. I cut my panel down to be three by eight and then I popped it up with some foam tape onto a black card base, which is eight and a half by three and a half. I picked out a second sentiment from the stamp set and I'm stamping that with Versamark ink onto some dark red cardstock, which I went over with a powder tool. And now I'm going to be embossing that with some white embossing powder. I grabbed one of the essential stitched sentiment dies and I cut my sentiment out. And let me tell you something, I think these dies are pretty essential to me because I use them all the time. I love it when I get a lot of use out of one product. I used some liquid adhesive to glue that sentiment on along the bottom there. And then I flipped the card around and used some scissors to cut the excess paper off of the side. All right, so now it's detail time. And the first thing that I did for my details was take a white gel pen and I added a few highlights to the boat and to the bunny. I also added a little bit more to the ripples on the water. I grabbed some of these raindrop embellishments which look really cool in the underwater area. It really goes along with the whole ocean slash lake theme. And I glued those down and I kind of just placed them scattered along the bottom. And then I grabbed that white gel pen yet again and I'm adding some little dots. Now these are supposed to represent smaller bubbles and I'm just kind of placing them above each of the fishes. Is it fishes or is it fish? I, I think I've heard both. I'm just going to go with it. I grabbed my glitter brush and I added a little bit of sparkle on the surface of the water. You do have to be careful with this because of the Distress Oxide ink. Any amount of liquid can pull up that ink. So be very careful and make sure that you let it fully dry. Just a little bit more of the white colored pencil and then this card is all done. And I'm so happy with the way that this one turned out. I think that it is a really cool design idea to have that fishing line go down into the water. And I hope that it gave you some ideas for your own cards. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.